legendary Steve Hess. All you diehard monster truck fans remember him from the Nightmare Monster Truck. And we're just going to talk a little bit about Steve's history. Um, you started out basically with 44s and a show truck. I, I Tell did. us a little bit about that. Well, you know, we had a, a really large four-wheel drive shop there uh, just out of Fort Wayne. And, um, you know, obviously the truck started out on 35s and ended up on 44s with 15-inch lift. And then we put lift blocks on top of that and, you know, KC lights. And that truck became pretty popular, did a lot of parades, did all the uh, special events, uh, jamborees with it. And then... We had a promoter come into town and said, you know, hey, you know, can you get 10 of your baddest customers and your, and your truck and let's do a tug of war. And uh, so that's how we kind of got started with the, with the. Uh, and that was with Aaron Paulberg. It was. He's it one was of our one. Monster Truck Hall of Famers. Um, yeah, had the Thunder Nationals Tour. Absolutely. So, so you kind of got in the ground floor with Aaron. I, I did because it, it hadn't had that many shows prior to, to me joining up with him. So we did the Fort Wayne show. Um, that truck was kind of unique. We put six 13 gears in it, and it had a lot of stuff that, you know, that uh, you wouldn't have on a normal street truck. It was very difficult to drive on the street because of 45, 50 mile an hour was top end in it. But, well, and so it had we, a lot of bling. It, it I remember did. It that was, thing had yeah, enough it, lights that you could light up a city with it. Yeah, we <laughs> did. We did. Uh, there in our local town, uh, the lights went out and lost power, and there was a dance going on at the you know, for the fall festival. And we lit up the whole basketball court with all the KC lights on it. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we, we got started with Aaron doing tug of wars. And uh, we did that that whole year with tug of wars. And towards the end, it was getting pretty dangerous. It, you know, the safety thing, we were a lot of dry shafts were coming out from underneath trucks. And unfortunately, you know, one of the uh, U-joints came apart and flew up but did not get in the crowd. And uh, the insurance company said, that's it, no more tug of war trucks. So Aaron approached me, he says, all right, if you can build me a monster truck as strong as your street truck, I'll hire you. And this was in the spring, I'm guessing, late summer. So we started, you know, we had a shop there in, in Roanoke. We covered up all lights and windows and stuff. We started building the truck and um, we brought it to Fort Wayne was our debut. Uh, scared to death, I'd only crushed one set of cars in the driveway at work, and so that was the start of that with Aaron in the Fort Wayne Coliseum. Sure. And that was upstairs, where you had to go in an elevator to get them upstairs, and you had to, you know, it was terrible. But yeah. yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the street truck, because you, you got to play around with a lot of the monster trucks, even with that. And there I, was I, other trucks with 44s at the time, but you always ended up in the in the group, I remember at Gravel Rama, things like that. I did, and that was, you know, kind of the start of you know, the street truck. You know, with it being red, got a lot of uh, f uh, photography work, a lot of uh, magazine coverage. We were on a few covers, and we were inside a lot of magazines. And we were at Gravel Rama um, with uh, Homer's Beast and and Bigfoot, and there was a couple other trucks there, Hercules. And uh, I had the street truck there and ended up racing um, the Bigfoot the Shuttle. Bigfoot Shuttle. Yeah. And, uh, you know, of course, at that time we had a Holly on there and we it would just flutter out, flutter out, flutter out. And, uh, but yeah, that, you know, so then um, so going that back. really got you. It really did. <laughs> and of course, you. one of the jamborees, <laughs> we, you know, we did a lot of parades with it. And, mm -hmm. uh, but with the four wheel drive shop, you know, obviously it's helped sell a lot of parts and oh, yeah. and we're very popular because people then would want to mimic getting the 15 inch springs and the mm -hmm. uh, lifts and the, you know. Well, commercial. and you guys always had a dominant spot at the jamborees and stuff. We did. I remember coming and just, you know, Little Nightmare was, well, you was always at the Rod and Custom <laughs> show in Fort Wayne. And of course he was right here close. I mean, right in the middle of it kind makes, of the monster it, truck heaven here. We were. And, uh, yeah. So we all remember Nightmare and, and just thought it was super cool. And we then you did. guys did a, a little lowrider street nightmare for we Rex. We did. I exactly. Think. Rex had the you know lowrider, and then of course we had the street truck, and then when we came out with the monster truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, the the street truck was what got me started. Um, I go back to we had the four wheel drive shop, and um, you know we you know, knew Scott Hess had a truck, 
He had his first one that had 44s on it uh, on his truck, on his street truck. So, you know, we were both valued from Trailmaster products, and so we went up there. Of course, our shop was dedicated totally to four-wheel drive shop. Um, that was my livelihood, and, you know, we advertised in national magazines. But Bling, you're right. We were the stainless steel king of the world. We sold all the rocker panels, and so that truck had every piece of stainless steel uh, chrome that you could put on oh, it. So yeah. Cab corners and, you know, the door, the rocker panels. and mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that thing had almost every accessory you would sell. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and, and that's what we would go to the Jamboree and have, you know, a, a 40 by 40 tent just full of supplies and and I think that's what people enjoyed about coming to the Jamboree mm -hmm. was to go there and be able to buy parts versus you know going there and looking at just a sample and have to order it they could take it home or they took it right out there and put it on their truck oh yeah and hope they could win you know you know be into the pro into the prizes there so now let's talk a little bit about when you started to build Nightmare 2 mm -hmm. so you covered all the windows and everything it was kind of a top secret deal it was yeah Tell us a little bit about that. Where did you, act, how did you get some of the parts and how did well, you go about and I, that? That kind of goes to, you know, uh, Scott Hess had, be, had built his and, you know, so I picked his brain. Um, uh, Mike Nichols with Excalibur. Um, you know, we really looked at that truck over. We looked at some of the trucks that were already built. And obviously, we looked at Bigfoot. Um, so we had the truck. And the body and everything was installed. You know, we had the engine in it. Basically, you know, from the frame up was done, and we had five tons. Mm -hmm. And we were at, at a show, and, and uh, Mike showed up with planetaries. He says, oh, you ever build a truck, you need to make sure you got planetaries. So sure enough, here I did. Get home, call boys. Hey, we need planetaries. And so <laughs> here we go, you know, cutting off the knuckles and, mm -hmm. and, and putting flanges on truck had never even rolled out of the garage and you know, he was already switching it and trying to make it better at that point so well, it was probably a good thing because he had a really heavy right foot and was very <laughs> aggressive always had good running trucks yeah I mean, and he always had a lot of horsepower I, I did i you know i was an engine guy i enjoyed building the engines and doing that stuff and and had a lot of sponsors great sponsors throughout the years and uh yeah we uh we did enjoy a lot of success and Hey, if you enjoy these videos, subscribe so you never miss any more. And uh, check us out on the next episode as we spend more time with Steve here learning more about his history.